Hello, new wave of British heavy metal.com here. Today it's the 15th of uh, December 2023. Usual quick request if I, if I could make that of you, please, and that's if you would subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. Big help, appreciated, and uh, and all that good stuff. So please do click that subscribe button if you would. Today, the Blue Oyster Cult, right? The amazing Blue Oyster Cult and their 50th anniversary live in New York City first night double CD and DVD package right? just just came out a couple of days ago and this is uh, this is the this is the cult celebrating their 50th anniversary and back in September last year 2022 they played three consecutive nights at the, the Sony Hall in New York and on each of those nights they they started off the set by playing one of their first three albums in its entirety and this being the first night of course they played straight through their debut album and then they followed that up with it with a set of other stuff spanning their career you know we, we've got some of the classics some of the deep cuts that you might not have expected and and, and whatnot and i mean they, they, this is 20 odd songs in total you know and they, they just deliver don't they constantly uh, so each night was recorded, so we've still got um, Tyranny and Mutation and Secret Treaties to, to look forward to. But in, in, until they come out, I mean, this, this first album and, and the set that follows it, it's, it's incredible. You know, and, and of course, um, Eric Bloom and, and, and Donald Rosa are still there, you know, Eric and Buck. Richie Castellano, Jules Rodino, Danny Miranda being in the band for quite a while as well. And, you know, they, they, they ripped through that first album quite a storming performance. And, and indeed the second set is as well, you know, just so, so on form. And, uh, you know, o over the years, when, when you think that Eric and Buck now are, are coming up around about 80 years old, and after all that time, the, the years of haven't dampened their enthusiasm, performance, or ability what whatsoever, you know. And, and I said that this lineup's been been stable for a while as well. And to to add to the occasion, it's very nice to see Albert Bouchard up up there on stage throughout the first album, chipping in with some guitar, various percussion, and for Cities on Flame, you know, getting behind a little drum kit and um, and thumping out the tubs and doing the vocals just like the old days. It looks looks like he's having so much fun, and he, he comes back in a time or two during the second set as well. So that that's really nice to see Albert back up there with, with with them as well. And of course, even after 50 years or so, that that first Blue Oyster Cult album still stands up so well after half a century. Time hasn't diminished it at all. That that mixture of you know heavy stuff, psychedelic trippy stuff, and and the more melodic stuff. It still remains sublime today as it, as it did back in the early 1970s. In particular for me, that, that spectacular elongated version of Then Came the Last Days of May with, with Richie and Buck taking it, taking it in turns to, you know, to flex their right hand fingers, sorry, left hand fingers with some remarkable, remarkable soloing, uh, you know, one after the other, Richie's first up and then Buck follows it. And, and Buck's always been one of Rock's finest guitarists, hasn't he? And, you know, time's not caught up with him either. And for, say for a bloke coming up on 80 odd, 80 years old, that effortless, fluid style of Buck's is still fully intact. And Rich is killer guitarist also. Uh, you know, what, what, what a pair. So what have we got? You know, Screams is, is wonderfully trippy, as always, as is She's as Beautiful as a Foot. Cities on Flames, so heavy, you know, one of the most recognisable riffs ever, isn't it? And then, you know, to, to add to the mixture, that, that, that poppy, catchy, redeemed, um, mixes up the styles and, and shuts out one of the finest debut albums in, in rock music history, surely. You know, in between that, well, we, we've got them all, haven't we? I'm on the land, but I ain't no sheep, workshop of the telescopes and, and all the rest of it. Classic, marvellous stuff that stands the test of time. Then the second half of the set comes in at 14 songs and they throw in some of the classics which they really have to play, don't they? Stuff like Burning For You, Godzilla, Don't Fear The Reaper, Art Rails To Hell and, and all that stuff. And the, the, there's some songs from the excellent uh, Symbol Remains from 
was it 2020, 2021, when, when they came back with such a fantastic album. Um, and one, one of them's that spookily gothic tainted blood. I like that one a lot. And there's some uh, surprises in, in this set as well, particularly the, the, the midsection trio, which, which I wasn't expecting. We've got Harvest Moon from Heaven Forbid, Dancing in the Ruins from Club Ninja, and The Vigil from Mirrors. Really nice to see them. But all in all, so we, we've got 20 odd songs split between the first album and that second set of other stuff. It, it's a spot on performance from the cult, who are, you know, still remain on tour forever, don't they? So now we've got to wait for nights two and three, which of course will be Tyranny and Mutation and then Secret Treaties. Let's hope that Frontiers have them lined up for release in, uh, in, in short order so we don't have too long to wait. But in the meantime, bag this, bag this first night, you know, for, for any Blue Oyster Cult fan, it's a must have and it's, it's top class from start to finish. So there we are, the amazing Blue Oyster Cult remain amazing. Um, please subscribe to the channel before you go. There'll be a link to all this on Amazon so you can go and pick up a copy if you would like to. And, uh, you know, please subscribe before you go. And as always, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and take care.